Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. And I pray today that you are excited about today and that there, we're going to expect good things and great things today to come from the Lord. I tell you, you know, sometimes it's a hard thing to try to understand life and the things that go on, <clears throat> especially in the life of a believer. And we've heard the old story and the questions that come around about why do bad things happen to good people? Why do Christian people, good people, hurt or go through hard times and suffer? Um, some of it's just life in general. We know as we age, things don't go the way we want anymore. And there's going to be days when things don't go right. And then there's also the enemy attacking us. So there's a lot of things that happen in our life sometimes that we don't understand why. And when we get to that point and we have those times, that's when we learn to trust God. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. I want you to listen to Job chapter 12 and verse 12 and 13. Job chapter 12, verse 12 and 13. With the ancient is wisdom and in length of days understanding. With him is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understanding. Folks, the Bible says we must believe that God is wise and powerful and that his ways are the best and the surest means of straightening our high, of attaining, I'm sorry, our highest goal. We must understand that and we must take that under, in faith that God is looking out for what is best for us. No matter what we're going through, it says here, the believer must never think that God has promised us a troubled, free life. He never has. In fact, he talks about that in, in many, many times in the Bible that he said, they hated me. They persecuted me. They will do the same to you. The enemy's going to come and try to trip us up. He's going to try to cause us to turn and walk back away from God. He's going to cause us to try to make us believe God doesn't love us. He never has and never will and that he didn't save us. He, Jesus has never promised us a trouble-free life. The one thing he did promise us is that he would never leave us nor forsake us, but would be out with us. It says, God may send both joy and sorrow in order to detach our love from the things of this world and attach our love to him. God directs an event in a committed believer's life for the purpose of personal sanctification and the fulfilling of his or her service in the kingdom. These things come to make us stronger. These troubles and heartaches and trials come to make us trust in God more. And that's what we must really believe. And I think, too, we, le we learn in Romans 8 and 28, I believe it is, that all things work together for the good of them who are called according to his purpose. We know today, yes, things are going to come against us, but they come that we may be better and stronger in Christ. God directs that in our life today. And in this life, believers can never completely discern the ultimate purpose of everything that happens to them, nor will it always be perfectly clear how God is causing all things to work together for the good. That's why the Bible says we must wait upon the Lord. We don't know exactly which way this event or whatever's going on in our life is going to take us. We don't know which way it's headed sometimes. And like it says there, we cannot completely discern the ultimate purpose of everything. It is during these times when we cannot fully understand God's method of dealing with us, we should commit ourselves fully to Jesus Christ and know that he has got all things worked out together for our good. All he wants us to do is trust him. Are we trusting him today with the life that we've put into his hands to use us however he sees fit? Lord, thank you today that we know beyond a shadow of a doubt as a child of God in these times that are rough, when these things come and these times are hard, you are there with us, for us, and looking out for what's best for us. All we need to do is trust you 100% completely with our life. And I pray today, God, that we will do that and know that when the end comes, it all is going to work out 
for the good. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Help us, Lord, today to trust in you completely with all that we have and with all that you're doing for us. God bless you today is my prayer, and I pray that you'll have a blessed day. Amen.